News, Run Elementary in Donna has quite the history. Established in 1904, it was the first school in Donna ISD, then the first dual language school, and today it's the first ever virtual school. Channel 5's Crystal Martinez there for today's big ribbon cutting ceremony. Here at Run Elementary, now known as Run Virtual Learning Academy, it's the first day of instruction, but it's not in person. It has created an opportunity of growth, it has created opportunities of learning, and it has created opportunities of change and moving forward towards, you know, what the times are now. Their Facebook page calls it our new chapter. With parents and students still concerned about safety and health during the pandemic, one of the oldest schools in the valley located on Military Highway in Donna is now all virtual. But not just anyone can get in. We do need for them to have a, a certain average as well as attendance. We look at attendance having a, not so many absences, right? To be eligible, Don ISD students need to have a 70% or better grade average. The school is also asking for a parent commitment to ensure students are making progress. Teachers work from the school while students learn from the comfort of their own home. Julius Casares, a sixth grader, says he's all for it. I like virtual learning because, uh, hmm, like, you don't have to go to actual school and you're going to stay at home. The school is set up to instruct around 1,300 students from K through sixth grade. And school officials say students like Julius will still be able to get a full education, arts included. Because, like, there's a lot of programs to do. Although Julius says he does miss one thing. Well, in person, like I don't get to see all my friends like in person and I don't get to like really talk to them that well. Principal Inohosa wouldn't say how many students are currently enrolled in the virtual academy, but she did say they're still accepting applications from any K through sixth grade students that meet the qualifications. Crystal Martinez, Channel 5 News.